afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Guys, I got another kind of rare motorhome today we're going to review. This is a 2003 Holiday Rambler Ambassador. It's a short triple slide diesel. And guys, this is the 34 PST. Total length is 34 and a half feet long. It only has 40,000 miles, and I mean just turned it, 40,506 miles. 315 horsepower Cummins diesel, ISB Cummins. Six-speed Allison, Roadmaster chassis. Uh, 7,500 Onan diesel generator running right now. 34 and a half feet, and for an 03, this thing's in excellent condition. Now guys, I've had this thing for several months. The reason why you're not seeing it till now and uh it's because we picked this thing up this was a trade-in at a dealership down in florida on a new rv they they it was a little too old for them so they called us like they do on all their trade-ins and we put a number on it they traded for it off that number and we bought it however about 300 miles after my driver picked it up to head bring it back here the trailing arms uh, one of the trailing arms broke well, guys, for those of you who know the Roadmaster chassis, you know that's a big deal. Um, so this thing, and that's not an easy thing to find. So I had, you know, you can't buy Roadmaster trailing arms anymore. This was the one that had the recall. Of course, that recall expired years and years and years ago. So I don't know if the previous owners just didn't know about it, didn't care or whatever. But... We now have two brand new trailing arms professionally installed. I had to have them made because you can't find any used ones anywhere or the salvage yards or nothing like that. Um, so I had them custom made and they are the new style trailing arms, the ones you never have to worry about again. Guys, I spent right at $10,000 having all that done. Am I charging you for that? No. Even though many man hours, much frustrations having this unit, not being able to sell it. And honestly, guys, and I'll be completely honest with you, I have right at $53,000 invested in this motorhome. So it's a loser for me at $49,900. And the only reason I didn't go up on the price to accommodate the extra expenses because guys this is an 03 ambassador the only reason i bought it because it was a short triple slide diesel with low miles and it's a, and it's a monaco built coach but honestly guys in 03 that's that's all you can ask that i believe you can fairly ask for an 03 and keep the price fair now any other dealer this unit in that circumstance would be 59.9 I'm not any other dealer, guys. $49.9, I'm losing, like I said, a little over $3,000 on it, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. That's, that's true when you buy used RVs, whether you're a dealer or a consumer. That's just, that's just part of it. It's a roll of the dice. I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So... Now, that being said, um, I will still do my basic guarantee, which we guarantee the generator to run, which it is right now and put out. Guarantee the roof airs to work, slide outs to work, and the refrigerator freezer to get cold. Everything else, of course, sold as is. And I'm just going to show you what I see wrong with it. It's typical things for a 18, 19-year-old RV that you're going to find on any 19-year-old motorhome. Got a little bit of fade here on the front. You know, probably been that way for years. Probably didn't even bother the last couple of owners, but it's there. You know, you could have it touched up. You can have a bra put on it, whatever you want to do, but or leave it like it is. It's not going to hurt a thing. Looking around it, guys, the only thing I see is that all three slide toppers need the canvas replaced. You know, that's something you can have done pretty reasonably. You can buy that canvas just by itself do it yourself you and a buddy these things are a lot easier to change the slide toppers than it is the awning fabric on the patio awning because you don't have to deal with that spring or that 
there's still a spring but it's not that heavy duty industrial spring that'll hurt you if it gets away from you like a spring loaded awning has and uh, one other thing on the inside i'll show you and that's it guys i mean, other than that's a nice motorhome brand new trailing arms <laughs> i mean <laughs> gotta love it uh motorhome runs and drives great or at least it does now um full air brakes air suspension you know this was a monaco built holiday rambler this is a whole different animal than what the holiday ramblers are now now the new holiday ramblers are nothing but a sister brand of a Fleetwood owned by Rev Group. This is back when Monaco owned them. Nine layer thick roof system with an aluminum metal top. Five layer uh, sidewalls, five layer floor system. Got a trailer hitch on the back. I couldn't find the towing capacity. I, just to be safe, I'm gonna say 5,000 pounds. Three slides in a 34 and a half foot motorhome. Very, very hard to find. especially for under 50 grand. Got the side mounted radiator so you don't blow stuff all over your tow vehicle. 10 gallon water heater, no delamination. I mean, guys, like I said, the outside, typical 03 model condition. Well, actually probably a little better than typical 03 model condition, but you do have a little spot there on the stripe. Like I said, it's not new, it's a used RV, you know, New travel trailers cost more than what this thing costs now. 7,500 on end diesel generator running right now. Uh, windshields look great. Air horns, all that good stuff. Let's look inside. Power steps work great. And we did put new carpet in here. Brand new carpet that, you know, that's, a, you know, I already put the trailing arms, that's 10 grand you don't have to spend. And then I put you a carpet in here. So that's a, that's some more money you don't have to spend. Probably a 12, 15, 12 to $1,500 you're saving. Front captain shares look like 40,000 mile captain shares should look like, which are pretty much spotless. Uh, they do swivel for party seating. As we step inside, very nice, clean interior. The upholstery is original and it's in awesome condition. Um, Corian countertops, no cracks in them, which means you've got a good riding chassis. Six speed Allison, we'll sit here at the front. And I'm gonna point out one other thing, guys, because I've done spent all the money I can spend on this thing. So it's gonna be sold with this light on. It has an ABS light on. Now, sometimes you can take the sensors apart and clean them, put them back on, and that fixes them because these things set, dust gets caught in the sensors. Sometimes you gotta replace the sensor. The nearest, uh, the diesel shops are about six weeks out and I've already spent, I'm already losing money on it, so I am gonna sell it with that ABS light. Now, most states, that's no big deal, but if you do have a state with an inspection, you'll have to get that fixed before you can title it. I'm sorry, that's as fair as I can be. You know what, I've got it priced for what it is, and um, I've done spent a lot of money on this, so, you know, it's to the point now where do we sell it on the lot, or do we send it to an auction and get probably get more forward at auction than what we're selling it for here at a dealer auction so we're kind of at that point so don't be surprised if after a few days if it doesn't sell if we just send it to the auction dealer auction in florida or something like that and get maybe pick up an extra couple of grand out of it like it sits uh cd stereo see i got generator running in case you didn't hear it um does have the hydraulic leveling jacks the RVA jacks, like a lot of the Monaco's used back then. Excellent jack system, by the way. Heated power mirrors. Got the power shades. Uh, he, uh, got the engine brake. Of course, cruise. Idle up switch. Aired up, in case you want to put it under a shed. I mean, air brakes. All the gauges look right. 
look like they're supposed to. I don't see anything to worry about. Um, you know, all in all, this is a very, very nice motorhome, and it was a shame that happened with the trailing arms. And guys, you know, we don't have the luxury of calling the place we bought it from and telling them, hey, this thing broke down 300 miles up the road, come get it. No. When we buy one, it's ours, lock, stock, and barrel good with the bad. So, and uh, of course, that's the way. Anytime you buy a used RV, that's that's the truth. Whether you're a dealer or a uh, or a buyer, a retail buyer, so that's just the way it is. But uh, so, believe me, we had to eat the whole ten grand. And again, guys, that's money we spent. You don't have to. So. Anyway, and also, by the way, that 7500 Onan diesel generator is a Cummins diesel, too. Because Cummins builds Onan, in case most of y'all, in case y'all didn't know that. All right, now here in the back, you've got a cloth sleeper sofa. This is original. You've got double ducted roof airs. Both of them are 13,500 BTU units, which in this small of a coach is a... Uh, more than enough cooling power. You've got a table booth that makes a bed, so you can sleep five to six in here. Of course, you've got no no sagging in the headliner, so no signs of water damage anywhere. Cabinets, drawers, all that stuff looks good. It is missing a, uh, a panel on the refrigerator. And guys, all you gotta do, because you're not gonna find this anymore, Oh, this is from 03 like this right here all these do is they slide you take the door apart slide those out the top go to lowe's home depot buy you a sheet of stainless steel about an eighth inch thick a uh, sheet of wood stain it a uh, piece of black shower board what are a marker actually marker boards a really cool thing to put here magnetic marker board just cut you a piece out to fit the uh, hole put it there and make it your own you mark on it put magnets on it whatever but we do guarantee the refrigerator to get the operating temp and got a little pantry storage right there does have washer and dryer right here is your washer and dryer combo unit well i'm on a little bit of a slant here so there we go you've got your bathroom and it's a split bath like most smaller motor homes are you've got well corian countertops in here too uh sink big medicine cabinet um rv c land that's something i got in my dynamax good toilet and believe me if it can if it can hold my big butt no problem there <laughs> it can hold yours um you do have a shower right here you also have a, a solid door right here for privacy. So you, uh, it's all buttoned up right now, but you can actually close that door and isolate the bedroom and bathroom area from the rest of the RV for privacy. And you've also got another door here that you can completely isolate the bathroom from the bedroom as well. So it depends on who's in the shower, I guess. Here in the back, very roomy bedroom for a 34 and a half foot. And I do love this second vanity and double medicine cabinet. This is something you don't hardly ever see in a short class A diesel. But you got a Queen Island bed. You know, all these woods are, are, are in good shape. All the cabinets, all solid hardwood. You got a big sliding door closet. Original television. I mean, foot of the bed. He got a pretty good bit of space between the foot of the bed and this dresser. More storage. Nice unit, guys. And a good thing, you got to worry about trailing arms. <laughs> you know, that's always a big concern for those of you buying the... Uh, the Holiday Rambler or the Monaco's with the RR, 4R chassis, but you've got no concern over that now. 
and uh, hey guys just the cost of doing business ain't no sense crying over spilt milk does have a Xantrix inverter so you can power a lot of your 110 appliances while you're driving down the road off your 12 volt system of course your generator um, 40,500 miles only light on that ABS light. No check engine lights or nothing like that. Just ABS. And it works fine. It's just probably just like I said, a dirty sensor or something. You know, honestly, that light, that wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't surprise me if that light's been on for several years and just not really worth taking care of. But again, guys, that's up to you. You know, some people are pickier than others. Ah. <sighs> Check engine light comes on on one of my vehicles. I just make sure the motor's there, and I, if it is, I go on. I checked it. <laughs> but um, 49.9 Haggle Free Firm, if, and we do have some very limited financing available with approved credit and down payment, but I'm going to go ahead and warn you guys, check with your bank or credit union because I only have one bank that'll go back further than 15 years and they are short term and a higher rate, even with perfect credit. So check with your bank or credit union to see what they will finance it for uh, and what kind of rate and terms you get so you have some kind of basis of comparison. Even though honestly, most people, when you get into this under 50 grand price range, it's weird, but just about everybody pays cash for it. Um, when you get into this price range and people what they do is they save the financing for the more expensive motorhomes but um, let me know in the comments what you think and I, like I said I'm being completely honest with you about the condition I showed you what I saw uh, what we did to it I showed you the things that it may need and it's perfectly usable just like it is and it's been winterized it's uh, so if it's something you think you're interested in or you got questions about, best thing to do is just pick up the phone and call us, 706-965-7929. And um, feel free to comment below what you think about it. You know, for the money, I think this is a well-built motorhome. The build quality of these Monaco's is uh, second to none over anything made in the last 10 years. I mean, besides maybe a couple of brands that kind of the exception like Newmar or Tiffin but um, these newer holiday ramblers guys I don't know um, you know I've, I've had a couple of them here and they were okay but like I said they are the the new holiday ramblers and the Fleetwoods are the exact same motorhome built the exact same assembly line the exact same way the exact same furniture and the floor plans only difference is is uh the badge, one says Holiday Rambler, one says Fleetwood. It's kind of like Chevy and GMC trucks. It's the same thing, just a different different name on it. And that's that's what the newer that's what the newer Holiday Ramblers are. They don't put the metal or the fiberglass roof on them anymore. They're I mean, they're still okay motorhomes, but they're nothing near the build quality of this one. And yeah, the newer ones, more technology you know they'll have bluetooth this and wi-fi extender that and booster here and all that good stuff but they're not going to have the solid wood cabinets like these do they're not going to have the metal roof like this one does or the metal frames and the and the you know this is back when quality was more important than than quantity and um now it's the exact opposite now a lot of these new RV manufacturers all about quantity instead of quality and you know honestly I believe you take care of this coach and keep it maintained repaired and all that this thing will still be on the road when the 2022s are falling to pieces and heading to the junkyard if you maintain it properly anyway guys thank you so much for watching I told you I'd get back to doing some use uh, videos still got a C class or two I want to shoot but I doubt I'll get it done today it's been pouring rain ha off and on all day, so um, I mean, you can probably tell the hat from the raindrops on the uh, windows. But I mean, even the day-night shades are in good shape. I mean, it, this is a decent motorhome, guys. It really is. And I know, yeah, it's got a few little 
few little picks you got to take care of but for the price what's it really matter it's a great motor that 315 cummins guys that isb cummins is one of the most dependable motors that they've ever put in any class a and and i'll say that to this day that inline six cummins is bulletproof guys uh seems like you get into the and and i was talking to a guy about this the other day because it seems like when you get into the bigger motors like the 400 horsepower plus you seem like you have a lot of issues with them and i was talking to a guy who's a diesel mechanic he said yeah because they they put a lot more stuff in them like turbos and electronics and stuff to get that more horsepower and more torque and that's just more stuff to break down and he was a diesel mechanic he told me the same thing i've told y'all this isb and then the old b series mechanical cummins very 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 dependable motor yeah it may not run 95 miles an hour going down the interstate who in the world wants to drive a 34 and a half foot box on wheels that fast anyway always stay under the speed limit guys you know you uh, i always tell people this when you're in a motor home if you can't drive under the speed limit or at, or at the most at the speed limit keep your rig parked at home drive a car stay in a hotel room it's a, a lot safer for you a lot safer for everybody else on the road these are not cars they don't stop on a dime they don't maneuver like cars do you can't drive them like a car drive them more like a semi truck and um because guys we are very very fortunate that we are not as rv owners and drivers more regulated than we are now because i honestly believe guys just a matter of time before we have to have log books dot physicals we have to have electronic tattlers to tell us how long to tell whoever how long we've been driving we can only drive so many hours and stops so then we have to stop for so many hours i believe those days are coming guys i may be wrong and i hope i'm wrong but i believe they're coming and, and the more that we can lead by example as rv owners and drivers by obeying the traffic laws staying in the right lane staying out of the left lane maintaining the speed limit or under and being safe courteous drivers i think the longer we can hold that off but when you see these idiots going down the road 90 plus miles an hour in a 40 something foot diesel pusher that just because they can in the left lane putting everybody at risk on the road guys that if everybody drives like that those regulations are going to come sooner than later so um i'm always big about that guys i, I don't get in a hurry in an rv you know part of owning a motor home is enjoying the de the journey as much as the destination so don't take no unnecessary chances just to get there a few minutes earlier it's not worth it not only that, but you're putting a lot of stress and wear and tear in your motor home. It's unnecessary. I mean, you got to think about it. You're twisting and flexing when you're going down the road. You're going to do it a lot more if you're running 85 and 90 than you will running 65 and 70. So, um, like I said, most of the time I keep my speed around 70, sometimes a little less. Depends on the traffic and the speed limit. I never go over the speed limit in RV. You know, now vehicle yeah i'll go over a little bit but not uh but never in a rv or while towing a, a towing a trailer or fifth wheel something like that anyway ran over on that <laughs> 49 nine haggle free firm plus applicable sales tax guys we have no extra fees you know besides uh if you are a georgia resident you do have to pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee but now that goes for georgia residents no matter what motor home you buy it, it doesn't matter if it's a for sale by owner or a dealer you still have to pay all that the only difference is for sale by owner you pay it in the tag office when you title it along with your tax and uh dealer you we pay it all to us and we submit it on your behalf to the state right then and there and um, if you got questions about any of that, give us a call. We'll explain a little bit better. Out of state residents, you don't have to worry about that. You just pay the the forty nine nine and applicable sales tax if it applies to you. You know, if you're financing it, you'll probably have to pay sales tax to us, and we submit it to your state. Um, if you pay cash for it, then you'll just pay the forty nine nine, and you're from out of state. That's your out the door price, and you pay your sales tax whenever you tag and title it in your home state. anyway guys thank you for watching uh if you enjoyed the video give me a smash me a thumbs up if you don't mind 
share on social media feel free to comment even though most of you at this point are my subscribers but if you're not hit that subscribe button to rvs of big bow on youtube and also check out my facebook page with the same name now i don't do sales guys i do marketing and many other things so i i can't sell you an rv but i'll be happy to give you advice answer questions i've been an rv owner for 25 plus years you know i'm really good at helping new rv owners out um I've been on both sides of that desk as a buyer and a seller both. I've done every position in RV dealership you can think of, including financing, buyer's agent, salesperson, tech, and transporter. So, <laughs> uh, I'm one of those guys, few people out there that can do any position in an RV dealership. And uh, I don't mind giving you tips, tricks, pointers, advice. I've worked for the big RV dealers too, I'm ashamed to say, like Rip Off World, but I was only there a few months, but it was enough to see the scams they pull. I don't recommend anybody buy from them because they are very, very deceptive. Big dealers, and my grandpa told us this decades ago at the start of this company, a lot of truth to it. Big dealers don't become big dealers by giving fair deals. They, they become big by maximizing profit on everything from fees to marking the interest rate up on financing from try from selling you up sales like extended warranties and gap insurance and all this other stuff that's marked up three or four times dealer cost and most of it not worth the paper it's written on here's the thing about most extended warranties guys you do a claim on an extended warranty you could have the motor home a year and they're going to and, and the extended warranty company is going to say it was a pre-existing condition they're not going to cover it and when they do cover it, most of the time they only cover a part of it. So honestly, guys, the money you're going to send on extended warranty, just keep it in the bank. Put that toward repairs, and most of the time you'll come out way ahead. And then you don't have to worry about giving that dealer more profit for something that will never pan out so um you know as far as extended warranties you want gap insurance ignore the dealer go to your auto insurance company get it from them for a fraction of the cost if you need it anyway guys thank you so much for watching really appreciate it hope i gave you some good information um got some more used rvs coming up probably won't be until tomorrow you know if i come in tomorrow um, again, just a quick reminder, we are closed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for New Year's. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Nationwide delivery is available. It's a buck fifty a loaded mile. If you're interested, give us a call. That's one way. Um, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.